Hey guys, it's Alfie, and today I'm bringing you the best game I've ever played on Black Ops 2 so far, and uh, that is a 88 kill uh, headquarters game. And obviously, I'm playing on Nuketown 2025, uh, quite a lot different, uh, you'd be surprised to say, uh, to the original Nuketown on Black Ops uh, 1, I guess you could call it. Uh, but yeah, it's like pretty much just a completely modified um, Nuketown uh, map from Black Ops. And uh, it's got all new cars, new bedrooms. If you see that bedroom up there, it's just completely pink. So, a bit weird. Uh, but yeah, this personally, I don't think the map is as good as Black Ops 1. Uh, but, you know, there's still I still like the map. A uh, small map, nice map to uh, play with your friends and uh, just run around on, have a bit of fun. Uh, but anyway, first thing I'd like to talk to you in this commentary is uh, about the class I'm using. And uh, so I'm using their MSMC submachine gun, uh, which you haven't used already. It is an absolute beast, and I would definitely recommend using it. Uh, it is probably, I would say, the best submachine gun in the game. And uh, just in case uh, you haven't uh, really seen, I would probably say that submachine guns are pretty much the dominant weapons in Black Ops 2. Uh, everyone seems to be using them uh, rather than assault rifles. Uh, which is understandable, uh, most people tend to use submachine guns anyway, uh, but compared to the amount of uh, assault rifles that you people use in Modern Warfare 3, uh, there's quite a big difference. I think that's mainly because there's not really any overpowered assault rifles, unlike in Modern Warfare 3 where you had the ACR, Type 95, you know, all these sorts of guns which uh, were really overused and really overpowered in Modern Warfare 3. Uh, but yeah, so I had the MSMC and I have the... Um, uh, the perk, I'm not sure what it's called, uh, the thing that lets you have uh, three attachments on your gun, uh, the wild card I think it's called, something like that, don't quote me on it, but yeah, it's something around that, and uh, so yeah, it allows me to have three attachments on my gun, uh, which basically allows me to just have a really, really good rushing class, uh, so the attachments that I use is fast mag, suppressor, and uh, grip. And grip isn't the usual sort of attachment you'd expect to see on a submachine gun, uh, but with this submachine gun, it's got the best range for a submachine gun in the whole class, uh, so it definitely helps uh, having grip on it because it's easier to kill people at long range, uh, and also it increases the accuracy uh, when you're in a gunfight with someone. Uh, I use suppressor obviously because I want to stay hidden on the map, uh, which is very useful as uh, there are quite a lot of UAVs, which I know you'd say. Suppressor wouldn't really make much a difference, uh, which it doesn't obviously, uh, but Suppressor staying hidden on the map for me, especially on a small map like this, I would say is really key. Uh, obviously uh, what Black Ops, uh, the creators of Black Ops 2 have done, is they've made it so Ghost is unlocked to level 55. Uh, personally I think this was quite good of them to do that because, uh, especially as we know in Modern Warfare 3, uh, Assassin was extremely overpowered and it just countered absolutely everything in the game. And you unlocked it really early as well, which didn't help, so you got a lot of noobs using it. Uh, but also with Ghost in this uh, game, you have to be moving uh, to stay off the radar, so you can't just be sitting in the corner um, uh, and then expect to be sitting on the, um, not being on the radar. Uh, so it's a shame for Hidden Masters, if you don't know who they are, then just type it into YouTube. Uh, they're basically just like hide on the floor for like whole game so that no one can find them uh, so they might have a bit of struggle in this game trying to stay hidden uh, although you never know we'll, we'll have to see uh, but yeah um, so I'm using that class the MSMC with extended mag suppressor and grip uh, then my first perk is flak jacket uh, I'd say this is a really really key perk to use uh, especially when you're rushing around on Black Ops 2 because uh, personally I'd say that in Black Ops 2 uh, the grenades are really overpowered uh, so flak jacket makes the grenades a lot less powerful, which personally I found really really helpful. Uh, is it just kind of like stops people lobbing grenades at you? So like you'd be in a gunfight, uh, you run out of ammo, so you have to hide around the corner, and uh, then they'll just lob a grenade at you and you, it will kill you instantly. Uh, but yeah, so having flak jacket basically, so you could be on like uh, 20 health, someone will throw a grenade at you right at your feet. Flak jacket would save you, so it's really useful perk uh, to have. And uh, if you want to be rushing around, especially on Black Ops 2, uh, then I definitely recommend using it. Uh, now my next perk, I have the wild card that will let me have two of the second perk. And uh, for this, I have toughness, and I also use scavenger. Uh, now toughness, what it does is it uh, stops the kickback when uh, you're shooting at someone and then they're shooting back at you. 
and uh, if obviously when someone's shooting back at you your gun will kick back because uh, obviously if you're getting shot back in the face you're not going to stay completely steady uh, so yeah um, toughness basically just reduces the kick uh, when you're getting shot uh, I find this really useful because if someone's shooting you like in a one-on-one -on -one gunfight uh, especially when it comes to long range uh, having toughness really does help you in this situation and uh, I've definitely found it useful while I've been using it uh, then obviously scavenger we all know what that does uh, it just keeps me keeps me going basically because uh, I think you get about 120 bullets uh, when you first start off with this gun uh, which is not bad for like about a 10 streak uh, but as soon as you go on after that uh, you run out of ammo and obviously because uh, the creator class 2.0 system that black ops have introduced uh, you have 10 points to spend and uh, I've spent all my points already uh, and I don't even have a grenade or anything uh, so I don't have any points to spend on a secondary weapon uh, so I'm stuck with a knife so as soon as I run out of ammo that's me gone I uh, have to use my knife uh, which is not the most um, safe thing to have as your secondary uh, like say you're on a 20 streak or something about to get swarm uh, you're really excited suddenly you run out of ammo you get given your knife, just your knife in your hand, and you have to basically just wait and camp it out uh, to try and try and get that kill just to pick up someone's weapon. Uh, so yes, yeah, I, I definitely would recommend uh, using a secondary if you have the point spare. Uh, but just for my class, I don't use a secondary, and I use scavenger, uh, which is I just personally find a lot more useful. Uh, but yeah, it definitely is quite annoying when you run out of ammo and just left with your knife. Uh, so yeah, next is my third perk, and I use engineer. Uh, I think that's what it's called, but it's actually a really useful perk. Uh, so basically what it allows you to do is if you get a care package, uh, you can change the item in your care package and uh, you can booby trap your enemy care packages. Uh, but that's not all. It also sh shows every single enemy equipment on the map, uh, which especially when you're rushing around, I find that extremely useful. And look at that nice little triple kill with the lightning strike there. And uh, yeah, so I find it really useful having that perk because... Especially when you're rushing around, you don't want to be caught by a bouncing Betty that's just been put down on the floor. So you want to know exactly where it is, so you can either shoot it before you go around the corner, or be prepared to duck or go prone so that it doesn't blow you up. Uh, so yeah, that's a really useful perk. I really love having that perk, especially because I run care package. Uh, just because I don't, I don't really like running too high kill streaks, uh, especially now that um, the kill streaks cycle in the game. Uh, I think it's quite good to keep some pretty low kill streaks. So I use UAV. Uh, which personally, I, I like UAVs, you know, n nothing wrong with them. Uh, so I just use it low kill streak, easy to get, and very useful. Uh, so I use UAV to make sure that I know where people are on the radar. Um, so yeah, that's the main reason I use UAV, just because it's low, easy kill streak to get. Then I got care package, uh, just for the luck side of things. You know, sometimes if you get lucky, you could get something really good, which could really boost one of your games that you're playing. Uh, so especially with engineer it works really well using the care package uh, then the lightning strike I use is actually a really good kill streak uh, pretty low as well uh, sometimes I use the sentry gun uh, I differ between the two uh, the sentry gun is uh, really good in this game as well uh, the reason it's really good compared to the other games is because uh, number one you can't just knife a sentry gun uh, they've taken out the fact that you can knife sentry guns and uh, equipment and stuff in this game uh, so you can't knife the sentry gun, you can't stun it, uh, so if you start, like throw a stun at it, apart from an EMP grenade obviously, uh, it's not going to make the sentry gun uh, like paralyse for a bit, uh, it will just carry on shooting, and um, so yeah, personally I find that really good, and uh, so it's really useful when uh, someone's just throwing uh, grenades at you, and look at that reaction right there, jumps up and sprays him down in the face. So yeah, that's one thing that makes the sentry gun really good. And the other thing about the sentry gun is uh, you don't actually have to call it through in a care package, uh, which is really, really good because obviously every time you call something in a care package, there's always the risk of you not getting it or giving it to the enemy team, uh, which, you know, you'd rather not have it and get let one of your teammates get it than give it to the enemy team. Uh, but yeah, so you don't have to call it in through a care package. Uh, so as soon as you get the sentry gun, it's a really low kill shoot to get. Uh, you just slap it straight down, just like I did there, um, and uh, you don't have to pick it up through a care package, which just makes it uh, that's so much better. And uh, so yeah, that's the good thing about the sentry gun. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the whole of my class done. Uh, now I'm just gonna talk a bit about my opinion on Black Ops 2 so far, and uh, how it's going for me, and uh, hopefully 
you guys can leave me some feedback in the comments below of what you're thinking of Black Ops 2. Uh, now personally, uh, when I saw the trailers for Black Ops 2, uh, I didn't think it was going to be that good a game. I saw the trailers, I saw the gameplay of it, and uh, to be honest, I thought it looked absolutely shocking. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone else agrees with me here, but you know, I, I'm, all my friends agreed with me as well that uh, it just looked absolutely awful, and it probably wasn't going to be any fun at all to play. Um, but obviously, I thought that I pretty much had to get it anyway. Uh, new Call of Duty, everyone's going to be talking about it. So I bought it, and I have to say, I wasn't disappointed at all. I uh, bought the Harden Edition, as I just feel like I had to buy the Harden Edition. Uh, Nuketown 2025 Zombies map. And uh, yeah, I actually really am enjoying the game at the moment. Uh, it's quite a nice balanced game, unlike Modern Warfare 3. Uh, there doesn't seem to be that many overpowered guns, I'd say. There are definitely some guns that are better than others. Uh, but I wouldn't say there are any overpowered guns. Uh, if anything, I'd say that the guns actually take uh, quite a lot more to kill than in any other any of the other games. Uh, so yeah, I, I quite like that. As I personally, I think it takes a bit more skill to play the game, uh, which you know I'm not saying that I'm the best, but uh, I definitely find that in some situations I can uh, win the gunfights against other people. And uh, yeah, so basically my overall view of Black Ops 2 is that it's a pretty good game. I think they did a all right job of it. And um, yeah, I'm having quite a lot of fun, uh, like the wager matches, obviously you can't go wrong with the wager matches, uh, we all love wager matches, uh, then obviously there's zombies, which is pretty much just another game all in one, uh, so yeah, that's, everyone loves a bit of zombies, you know, you, you can't really go wrong with zombies either, uh, especially Nuketown 2025 zombies, I wasn't expecting it to be anything like it was, uh, the map looks quite a lot uh, different to what I was expecting it to be. Uh, but not saying that's a bad thing. Then also you got a couple of other zombies game modes uh, like uh, the bus uh, map. Uh, it's actually quite a fun map to play with your friends. You know, occasionally if you're feeling rebellious, then you can just leave your friend behind in the bus, uh, let them get pissed off, and uh, just watch them rage. Uh, because as soon as you're left behind in the bus, you know you're just left there, nothing to do, uh, trapped. Uh, the bus will drive over the lava as you do on a bus just casually drive over some burning hot lava and uh, yeah your friends will just be stuck uh, with loads of zombies around them and uh, have nothing to do and no one to help them uh, so yeah that's a really fun game mode so I definitely recommend playing that if you haven't uh, tried out that new zombies game mode yet uh, I'm not sure what the map's called again uh, some, some bus depot or something uh, and then it's the top selection there's survival and uh, some other game mode uh, so yeah go and try that out uh, but anyway, yeah, that is the end of the game right there. 88 kills and 29 deaths. I know it's a lot of deaths, uh, and I cut a few of them out because basically I had a few couple of good streaks and then I had uh, a couple of death streaks. Uh, but still, pretty high kill game, so I thought I'd upload it anyway. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. This has been Alfie, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace!